What are the best strategies to use for TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts? That's what we're going over in today's video. What's up guys, this is Omari with No Nonsense Music Marketing, the number one place for music business and industry advice online. If you are not subscribed already, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get updates on every new video we drop because let's say that you're watching this a year from now. If you were watching this one year ago, you'd be a lot farther ahead than all the other artists who watch this later. So the second you see this, click that subscribe button. Now today we're going over brilliant strategies for TikTok and Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. And the first one, I don't want to take this for granted, uh, and not say this to think that people are already doing it, but is repurpose the content. So that means if you're shooting a TikTok or an Instagram Reels, just take that video and put it on the other platform. It's already edited. It's already done. Why would you not just take the same video, throw it up on, if you upload it on TikTok, just take the same video, upload it on Reels, and YouTube short, especially, this is especially true if there's a new platform coming out. So whenever Reels was first coming out or YouTube shorts was first coming out, they're very friendly with their algorithm because they want people to use that part of their platform more, which means they'll give you free traffic. So they're essentially giving you much more free traffic at the beginning because they want to eventually get you to pay for the traffic. So now, um, you know, a year ago at this time, when you went to go do ads inside of the, of the uh, Facebook ads manager, the Instagram Reels option was not there. You couldn't run ads on that because they want to give that traffic away for free. Now there is an option to pay for the advertising for Instagram Reels uh, because they got enough users on that section of their uh, their platform that they can start charging for it and advertisers will pay for it. But at the beginning, there was a lot of people who got a lot of free traffic, a lot of followers that can still monetize that audience today because they were one of the first actors. So repurpose your content on all three of those. And if there's another platform that pops up, such as like a Triller or whatever, uh, just throw it up there. I know it's, uh, it takes a little bit of extra time, but it doesn't take all that much extra because like I said, the, the content is already done. And if you can get a tool, if you have enough money uh, to use a tool such as Buffer, uh, that's even better that you can just connect all your accounts. I know Buffer does have capabilities for TikTok now and Instagram Reels. Uh, I don't believe you can post a YouTube short from there quite yet, but who knows? Eventually, eventually they, they may do that too. So you can just do it all in one platform and you don't even have to click on the different apps. You just upload it all at once. Uh, number two, make different content for the same song. So what I mean by that is, don't just make one video and say, oh, well, that, that didn't go viral. That didn't get X, X amount of likes. Therefore, people don't like that. And I should stop making that content. So this is for perfectionists. This might not like you may need to change uh, what you're doing for this, because some people think they should just spend a thousand bucks on one music video and that's it. Uh, no, you you have a cell phone and you need to use that cell phone a lot. So film yourself in your living room, in your kitchen, in uh, your home studio, wherever you are, film yourself doing a bunch of different videos. Uh, that could be you sing one part of that song in the kitchen. It doesn't have to be long. You don't have to sing the whole song. Think, maybe do 30 seconds of it in the kitchen. Do that same verse in the park. Do that same verse in your car and then take the next verse or whatever in the next course uh, and do that in the same locations or different locations. Like you can have 10, maybe like 10 set locations or whatever that you do all these videos. And then you're just making different content for the same song. Uh, especially with these algorithms, you never know which one of those is going to hit. Uh, but some of the other tips we have will help in testing out maybe slightly different variations of this, uh, this particular tip. So moving on, the next one is use, um, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch up this order. So you need to have, number three for this is going to be, you need to have interesting captions for the videos. Uh, that means the, the caption is not just like the description section, it's that 
um, the headline that's inside of the video. So if you ever see, if you don't do this already, it's just that text on the video that uh, kind of explains what you're about to watch, or it maybe gives like a teaser about what you're about to watch or an interesting question. The purpose of that caption is to get you to stop, especially if your phone's on silent. So a lot of people scroll social media on silent. They may be on the train, maybe in their car, in the passenger seat. They may just not want to have the volume on. Um, they may be at home. They just don't want to have the volume on, but they want to scroll their phone. Uh, they may be with other people, so on and so forth. But the captions help people to stop on your videos regardless if that volume is on or not. So you can have a main caption that's at towards the top of the video. And then at the bottom of the video, maybe you have your lyrics scrolling across the screen if you want to do that. Or sometimes some we'll do it both ways. Sometimes that the, the caption at the top of the video, if we really want somebody to listen to it, we won't put the lyrics across the bottom of the video. Sometimes we will put the lyrics across the bottom of the videos. Uh, so just put, again, that's testing. With marketing, what you're doing is testing something. You're testing out your budget. So uh, try out both of those. And for tip number four, you can use some ad money. Uh, so use your ad budget to test out all these different variables. So if you want your results faster, you pay for it. Uh, like, yes, you can go viral with, with this, uh, strategy, with these strategies and tactics. That's not a guarantee. You really want to do both. Like you, you do want to post these for free. Uh, but then you do want to have some ad budget reserved for testing different ad creatives. So a vid, just one video is just called a creative. So you want to test different ad creatives so that you get to say how much traffic you get, not the platform says how much traffic you get. Uh, and if you have something that's really working and it's really profitable or that this video is getting you a ton of streams, then that's the one you want to keep going with or getting you whatever end goal that is. So typically we don't tell people just shoot the traffic right over to a streaming platform because you don't keep that audience. What you really want to do, bring them to your website first, and then, uh, you know, you can drive the traffic wherever you want to from your website. So if you don't have a website already, go to marmt.com hit the website button in the menu options, and uh, we will make a website for you. And also, running ads, uh, I know I made it sound maybe easier than it is, but you do need to have a certain structure for running your ads. So as a lot of artists find out, uh, when they try to run their own ads, they don't get the same results as when a professional runs the ads for them. So you can also go to marmc.com. We'll have the links in the description section about our Instagram ads management, you apply for it, and if we think we're a good fit, we will help you out in running your ads and creating all these videos that we're talking about for you so that we structure it in a professional way and you can scale it up. And then after that, a lot of people try that out for like two months, three months, and then once they can look inside their ad platform and see what we did differently than what you'd been doing, then you know if you're te technologically savvy, you can kind of take it over from there. Uh, but we do have some people that you know just order the ads every month because they're not the most technologically savvy, uh, but then some people who are a bit faster with it, uh, they might just get it for like two months, three months, and then after that, they can take it over themselves. And we're fine with either option. Uh, but then the last one, follow the trends until you can set them. So I know as artists, you're supposed to be creatives, trendsetters. However, you got to play the game. So Whenever you have sounds on TikTok and uh, Reels, you can reuse that sound in your videos. Try to make it, try to make it more interesting. Again, your your captions need to be more interesting than everybody else's. Try to make it a more interesting headline that gets more people to stop and click on it. Um, but you're still, you know, use the trending sound, but do it in your own way. This is where your creativity comes into play. We can't tell you exactly what to do in this section because this is some creativity. Uh, but you do want to use those trending sounds to get extra views to your video. And then always encourage people to follow, uh, your channel at the end of the videos. You can put a little end screen. It doesn't have to be long. Maybe it's like, if it's, if you're doing short reels, maybe it's like three seconds. Uh, just, just a custom end screen, uh, that is encouraging people to follow your channel. Uh, and in that same spirit, if you're not subscribed already, 
click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell on this channel so that you get updates on every new video and drop us a comment. Let us know what strategies you've been using on Reels or TikTok or YouTube Shorts that have been working and share that with the other artists so that they can get help too. I'll see you in the next video.